Hey there, Daily Scare Share. We do one thing a day that scares us or stretches our comfort zone. Today is day 368, and we are going to dare to change something. That's our challenge today. From the book, Do One Thing a Day That Scares You. It's looking a little worn, torn. Uh, started out brand new, but now it's looking a little ragged. But that's okay. That means we've used it and we've learned and we've grown. So today we've got a checklist day. I actually really like these checklists because they give me options and we always like options. And sometimes we forget that the world is full of infinite possibilities, that the, the way we look at things is only one way, but there's always a gazillion different ways to look at situations or things or people or places or events or whatever. But today, day 368 says, dare to change yourself today. Ooh, changing ourselves. Guess what? That is like the hardest thing to do, but it's also the easiest because we have absolute 100% control over ourselves. So no one else can change us. We can only change ourselves. So what does it give us a checklist of changing today? It says, dare to change yourself today. Change your work, your goals, your companions, your treatment of others, or your treatment of yourself. I'm going to tell you right now, I didn't do this one yet, but I'm going to change the treatment of myself. And I might, I might say treatment of others too, because I need to be nicer to my ex. More patient, let's say. And... My companions, I think I'm going to add more companions. Let's say add more. My goals are pretty set, so I'm not going to change them. My work, I may change that. I'm going to put a question mark by that. My treatment of myself, I'm going to, I'm going to definitely say that because I need to write, take awesome care of yourself. I am in the process of moving, and that means a lot of different types of activity. It means a lot of sorting and packing and, and deciding what to keep and what to give away. And it means that I'm not necessarily eating right or on time or taking my supplements and things on time because I'm pretty regimented and scheduled normally at that. And I would say for the last week or so, I have been bad about that. So I want to get back on track about that. So I'm going to say taking and treatment of myself. And then I'm going to also put um, limiting beliefs and negative self-talk. And I don't know about you, but as much as I've worked on and tried to eliminate negative self-talk, I still have it. I still do it. I still have other people's thoughts pop into my head and other people's opinions pop into my head sometimes. As much as I, they don't stay very long, but they do still pop in. And I would actually like someday to have them not pop in. I'm not sure what the strategy is for that. I continue to search for it and figure it out. But I would like to know that what I think is, is uniquely mine and my thoughts and from my best interest and from my higher power, whatever you happen to believe, and not from the news, the media, people around me, companions. Sometimes we need to change our companions. So that's it today. What is one thing about yourself you will change today? Your work, your goals, your companions, treatment of others or treatment of yourself. Maybe you don't always treat other people the way that you would like to be treated. That's a really easy one to do. If I ask myself, would I, would I treat myself this way? Now, the problem is I'm hard on myself, so I would never treat other people the way I treat myself and talk about myself in my head. I hold myself to a much higher standard than I would ever hold anybody else on the planet or anybody else I love and care about. That's it. Go out, make it a fantastic day. Don't be scared. You got this. Stretching our comfort zone every day is easy if we just do a little bit every day. It moves us toward what we want. Go out. I will see you tomorrow. You got this.